Hi, I'm Almi Gausi. I am the CEO of Innovative Packaging Industry Corp and the founder of Osh Also Healthy Snacks. So my primary business is uh, contract manufacturing uh, for FMCG uh, under multinational uh, for multinational companies. So we make from liquid condiments to sauces to personalized personal care products as well as home care products. Um, and mostly multinational clients. Um, that's really my primary business, but my passion project um, is producing my own brand under OSH, uh, which stands for Also Healthy. And um, this is the first um, Better For You Healthy Snacks uh, that was produced and manufactured locally in the Philippines and introduced in the Philippines. Under Go Local, we sell uh, under OSH, mango, fruit crisps. So we have now 11 SKUs, guava, jackfruit, um, coconut. And then we also have our veg offering, which is uh, corn. And then we have squash cheese. Then we also have uh, OSH pops uh, and also cho choco mango dip. So I started as a manufacturer back in 1999. So I'm a contract manufacturer for multinational clients, companies, and um, from home care products to personal care products to uh, condiments, food. Um, that was my background. And I received a lot of trainings from these multinational companies. Um, so quite, quite informative and amazing training. And because of that, I was able to create uh, an innovative product, uh, which is also healthy, OSH, in the market. So really, that was how I started. There are several, and I think it's it's still very. We still face a lot of challenges as we go through it, but every day is a work in progress. And I believe that you have to go through all the motions, and that's part of the joy. But the, one of the most difficult is really penetrating sales and having no capabilities, no background. I'm I'm a manufacturer. My team is uh, well versed when it comes to supply chain planning. We're we're very good when it comes to systems, uh, but we're not very good when it comes to sales and sales. I didn't realize will be the driver uh, and marketing uh, with zero background that became uh, to me the most challenging of all um, marketing is sort of reinventing the wheel every single day and, and then you're also dependent on trends um, what's happening so there's it's it's not as simple as fixing um, a machine that's not working right but then when, once I've I've already solved the issue it can run uh, Marketing, unfortunately, understanding your customers, uh, understanding what promo offering, uh, what kind of products they really want, what is the price point that's, uh, that they're willing to accept. It, it's, there's so many variables and moving parts. Uh, DTI is very instrumental in terms of supporting us, um, whether it would be through shows or acting as ambassadors to provide our products or share our products to the outside world, uh, DTI will was the one that guided us um, and it's different because I feel that it's um, DTI is like a community that you really feel that they have your best best interest at heart. It's different when you have you know supporters uh, and you know that somebody's got your back. It really keeps you going. Um, I think there's been many times that I wanted to give up but DTI has been there. So from from championing our product, telling the world you know there's a great uh, healthy product, innovative product produced um, in the Philippines, sometimes that's more than enough. Um, and then including us in trade shows, Winter Fancy Food Show, they included us, and uh, also in China. Uh, th these were exposures that I was not aware of if it was not for DTI. That was how I feel um, we've been guided and really blessed. I think that was started by Secretary Lopez. I think it's based on his initiative before. And as you know, all these supermarkets, stores, the only way that you can penetrate inside is by paying listing fees, right? And um, because Go Local was um, brave enough to, I guess, be that group, that industry, that community that will channel and penetrate the supermarkets, we decided to piggyback. And of course, based on the encouragement of DTI, so we joined Go Local. As I mentioned earlier, I, I think um, they've helped us by through the networks uh, and giving us that the right uh, uh, exposure. 
and um, if I'm not mistaken, they are, they're also part of the the show here locally, no. And you know, little incentives, awards, it helps. It go, it goes a long way because uh, we can use that in as part of our accolades. And you know, Osh is a brand that wants to be in the mainstream. Understandably, DT, like I think most of the ones that are easier, like they have an easier way to penetrate this when they create products that are really catering to Filipinos lang because the buyers are usually those ones that are focused on providing goods to our local OFW workers all over the world. So they have an easier time. Like our product is more global in a sense that it's it should be in the mainstream. It should be in Whole Foods. It should be in Walmart, in Target. Mas, mas, I think it's mahirap din. I think even for DTI, but I do feel the sincerity and the genuineness of the entire team trying to figure it out also. Who is the one who is Osh para makilala na talaga siya. Yun. I think success has many definitions. Um, but for me, having a great team uh, who understands and enjoys the challenges uh, that we go through, why we're doing it, has been the secret, so to speak. But uh, I, I, I truly believe that um, like the entire organization that we have, we have clarity in terms of what our long-term vision is, like our goal. And we all share that common belief that we're doing something great for the Filipinos, for our farmers, for the health and welfare of each other. So having having that, I think even if it's a very daunting process, there's many times that we've said we wanted to give up. I, I think, you know, the team propels me to keep moving forward. And that's really, to me, um, the measurement of my success and, and what successful truly means, right? Having one, one, one team move forward is, is uh, quite um, a blessing. This is really to, to stay resilient, to know that it's not going to be a straight line. It's, it's always going to be a lot of ups and downs. And um, you have to know um, where your heart lies and why the root cause, like why you're doing it. And if it's just really for profit, then it's, it might not um, pan out quite fast. Um, so your your wives have to be so strong uh, as to why you're you're you created that business and why you're doing it, um, so it can it can really hold off for the long term. Hey,